talk about the defense on uh, the second half and uh, how you kind of turn things around and really shut the Tigers down there that second half and gave the lead. Talk about that. Yeah, so um, on the second half, uh, we were really just focusing on how we were going to switch that press. Uh, there's some fundamentals in it that we didn't do very well. And so we came back just a little bit in our positions and also in that press where we were, we figured out who works best, either up top or down low. And that really started to carry on during that second half. And then also with that, we were able to scramble back on defense. We were struggling with that a bit, and we progressively got better and better with it, and that helped us out a lot more. So how did you adjust? Who did work best here, there, in the in down low then? Um, for the most part, I think that either me or Skyler worked best up top. Um, and then from there would be either, you know, the guards of Skyler, uh, Dayton, or whoever, um, Grant also there at the top two, kind of near the lean area. And then usually Niall and I or another post player be back. And so the biggest thing was they were getting a lot of drives behind us. And so we started to back up just a little bit and that really helped us out having that adjustment. Craig, back when we've seen this and Craig has talked about it, he might comment here in a moment, but uh, you guys seem to like to come from behind. I mean, that seems to be a pattern. Talk yeah. About that. Well, I remember our first, uh, I think it was six games we had, we realized that, you know, we hadn't lost uh, or won a game for over 10 points. And yeah. so obviously, that's kind of been gone and through, but I mean, it's still carrying over a lot more. And so I feel like we just keep battling back and we just figure out how to adjust and go from there. Yeah, it seems like for the most part, uh, Greg, you, you slowed down Kobe Johnson in front of him and you weak side help. It looked like he was a handful inside the ball in front and he turned him to the score. Yeah, he was a great player. Um, if you play behind him, he was just really, really good at just turning over that left shoulder and just making a little quick jump shot. And so when I was guarding him, which, you know, wherever we were in that defensive scramble, it just really depended on where you we were guarding. But when I was able to, I was trying to front him. But also with that, you got to be careful because he's a really good offensive rebounder too. So he's kind of that double threat, and he was a pretty good role player for them today. Greg Allen, as far as defense, though, it seems to be your role now to maybe uh, guard the uh, top scorer on the other team. Uh, how do you like that yeah, so, you know, I mean, effort's always something that you can control. And so that's something that I've been really trying to use to help me out with my success on the floor. And then also um, offensively, just as I'm working on my defense, it's really going to help carry into offense as well. Thank you. You, didn't, you, know, you talked earlier about the progress you've made this year from when you first started out. You didn't know being a little bit nervous, not getting into the goal. The point of being very comfortable now, whether it's taking a three-point shot or taking the ball to the bucket for a charge. Yeah, I was pretty nervous those first few games, especially those I was starting. And then, you know, it's just a lot more minutes and a lot more experience. It's out there on the floor. It's really helping me out. And I'm just figuring out my role there with the defensive side and also progressively the offensive side as well. Craig Allen, congratulations on the win. Best of luck, buddy, at St. Dale. Thank you.